So uh, Polarix was a uh, randomized phase three uh, double-blind clinical trial in which patients with advanced diffuse large B-cell lymphoma uh, were randomly assigned to receive either the uh, standard therapy, which is uh, R-CHOP, uh, chemo chemoimmunotherapy, or the investigational therapy, uh, which was POLA R-CHIP, polituzumab vidotin, uh, plus everything that's in RCHOP minus the vincristin. And the trial was uh, double blind in that um, patients uh, didn't know whether they were getting uh, polituzumab for real or vincristin for real. It was one of those two, but patients and physicians did not know which uh, treatment they were getting. Um, and so that was the design of the trial. There were more than 800 patients enrolled, and the primary endpoint that was looked at to measure the uh, uh, efficacy was uh, called progression-free survival, and then there were other uh, endpoints measured as well. Um, the uh, results of the trial were that um, the polituzumab R-CHIP regimen improved uh, progression-free survival compared with R-CHOP, and it uh, improved a number of other endpoints, including uh, what's called event-free survival. It uh, reduced the need for additional therapies because patients relapsed less commonly, so that uh, patients in the polar r chip arm needed less second-line chemo, less stem cell transplantation, less radiation therapy. Um, there was not a difference in the overall survival. Um, so those were the primary efficacy endpoints of the study. And then in terms of um, toxicities, uh, it really was quite similar to uh, RCHOP. The, the side effect profiles of the two regimens were not uh, terribly different. It really did not seem to add uh, much in the way of additional side effects. Um, uh, or significant side effects. In fact, there were. Uh, it, it seemed to be the, a little bit more deliverable than the RCHOP in terms of dose reductions and uh, things like that. So, uh, overall, I think the trial is uh, going to be deemed a success. Uh, it's uh, you know important because. Uh, it's been 20 years since we made a change in the standard frontline therapy for, our, for uh, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Um, it's been about that long since uh, it was shown that adding rituximab to CHOP uh, improved outcomes. And, uh, and since then, many a trial has failed to improve upon the outcome seen with our job. So this is really the first of its kind in a couple of decades. And so it's really uh, um, exciting to, to uh, see the, you know, an improvement here in, in the outcomes for patients. So.